when people come to the shows, it's I, I love it to be a dance party first and foremost, and there's always that sensibility from like hip hop to house to broken to some Afro madness. There's always that kind of electronic beat sensibility, smatterings of soul and jazz and funk. I like to say to people, it's everything that you like put together to make something that you never knew existed. Keeping it keeping it fresh is not something I think about. I just I just do the do. Um, I think that's a really important thing with artistry in general. Is that if you're true to yourself and you and you love what you do, it's going to stay fresh. I'm, I'm a big believer in that. Um, for me, coming up, there's a lot of studio productions and collaborations. I've just done a couple of albums for ones for a trumpet player from Holland, ones for a rapper named Rep Life from the States. Those will drop soon. Um, there's talk of collaborations with some of my very favorite artists on the planet, and I'm hoping that happens in the next few months. I'm not going to say their names because people will be like, yeah, you said you were going to work with such and such. And, but it will happen, and I'm, I'm really excited to, to, bring, to, to, bring, to bring my thing to, to other artists, and you know, we meet in the middle and see what happens. My top five musicians would be, in no particular order, Miles Davis, Herbie Hancock, Jay Diller, I could have a Bootsy Collins. Fifth place would be a tie between James Brown, Ayoto Moriera, Prince. I mean, conceptually, Miles would have influenced me the most in that he was always open and evolving and different and yeah. Hey this is Mark the Clive Lowe and you're on cold emphasis.